What jobs will make you fit or have a better body than working out? I saw a vid about marble cutters in Italy. They handled all the marble by hand, and they had a group of workers who only handled large slabs and columns of marble by hand. They looked more muscular, vascular, and symmetrical than any Mr. Universe I have seen. Most of them were under six tall, yet most of them weighed in the 240-pound range with very little body fat. They showed how they worked, and how they had to eat about 5,000 calories a day to avoid wasting away. I've also seen all rig workers who develop incredible amounts of muscle from the hard work they do. My first job at a teenager was full-time pushing trolleys in a superstore car park all year round. Pushing 10-20 stack metal trolleys around a large car park for 40 hours a week really was an excellent workout. It was also pretty chill if it weren't for the other employees being toxic. Now I work as a 3D artist and sometimes I find myself wishing I were back to pushing trolleys. To simple times where I could just push trolleys and keep to myself with no pressure. Summer was great. Winter sucked. The three fittest people I know are a fighter, a wilderness guide, and surprisingly a kindergarten teacher. Extra mention to a coder with a THT that just won't stop moving ever. Why active hobbies? That that person can and will run faster and farther than you and lift half their body weight without even getting sweaty and literally climb on a lamp post without aids in their 30s. That their work for sure doesn't help their fitness. It's all just a DHT. While it's not exactly ground or anything, being a loader cart pusher for one of the big home improvement retailers will get into pretty good shape. Having back surgery or send their wives alone to grab a huge order so they don't have to load it themselves means you'll be loading 50 to 100 pound bags of concrete and bags of dirt mulch all day. I was probably in my best shape when I worked in a guitar store TBH. One day I lifted to tons of amps by myself and I'm a girl, T a big shipment and couldn't fit it in the store. We would have to reload it back in the work van after already unloading it off the delivery van and carry everything by hand into our storage space. It was a small mom and pop shop. They didn't have any forklifts or dollies etc. Delivering huge speakers and DJ equipment was hellish. Go into the military. Although a lot of the physical activity you'll do is working out, you get paid to do it. And, at least in training, you will not be lacking motivation because of instructors yelling at you to push yourself harder than you ever thought possible. The Marines and Army are generally going to require more physical activity, but every branch has career fields that can be very physically demanding. Even a desk job still has requirements to stay in shape. I decided to go into physical therapy as a way to keep myself healthy. I had planned to do nursing, but then discovered PT and thought it would benefit myself on a personal level more than nursing. Haven't looked back. Lost 100 pounds. Stay active at work and exercise daily. Your job can affect your lifestyle so much that said. Heavy lifting can wear on your body no matter how much you try to lift. Beware of jobs that give you a great workout as well. No job will outperform goals-specific training. If it did, fitness models and bodybuilders and athletes would all just be farmers or landscapers or movers during the day and just show up to photo shoots and competitions with no other training. Pretty good just by having a physical job and a good diet. But if you're truly looking to achieve a specific look or a high degree of some specific type of fitness, you generally have to train for it. Kriber basically a person that forms concrete into buildings. Nothing you deal with weights less than 50 pounds and you are building or dismantling something constantly. I had done the job for several years and made good money. But I had to eat almost constantly. Zero body fat on me while doing that job. Where I lived there was a shortage of cribbers and they looked at the prison for laborers. It was deemed as cruel and undue punishment to have them do the job. Ditch digging landscaping work. I had an evil summer job in college. The pay was amazing though. This huge condo development realized the foam insulation they put on the outside of their concrete. Foundations was catnip to termites and they had to tear it all out. My job was to dig a trench by hand for feet deep around the entirety of every condo I could so they could scrape the stuff off. Digging ditches will make you jacked. Best shape of my life by far. I do landscaping. 
I walk around carrying equipment weed eater, edger, leaf blower, from like 8.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. on a bunch of different properties. When I started, I would work every Friday with my father. I managed to lose 25 pounds over a three-month period the summer just by working every Friday. Now, I do it more consistently than just Friday, and I've certainly lost more weight. It's really helpful and makes me feel better about my appearance. Worked with horses for several decades, was in great shape, well except for the random dislocated shoulder, crushed leg, crushed fingers, fractured femur, broken collarbone, retired at 48 and missed the work part. Now I have a small but effective home gym, so I still get to lift weights and get my cardio in, but it's no longer from lifting bales of hay carrying sacks of grain, cleaning stalls, and walking several miles a day getting horses. Oddball one here paragliding tandem pilot. Never been in better shape than when I did that job. You're carrying heavy packs around all day long. Often up hills, you get monster fit. But it's a young man's game, and you need a backup plan cause so much as a sprained ankle and you're not flying. Once your back and knees start falling apart, well, you need another line of work, besides the obvious risks of working in extreme sports. I used to work as a mail handler for the USPS a lot walking, ferrying mail bags, heaving around large parcels, and carrying loaded mail trays. By the end, I had no problems tossing around the 100 pounds. Military footlockers we'd occasionally get and was almost down to a US women's size for and some nice shoulders. Then I got a degree applicable job that paid better. A degree applicable desk job. And then the pandemic showed up. Better body than working out is a tough one. Because based on a workout load and diet, that could be as close to optimizing your visible fitness as possible. However, I'm guessing you mean what jobs will give you a consistent enough workout that is more effective than, say, eating whatever and working out a couple times a week. To that I'd say a physical trainer, a mover, a soldier, or an arborist someone who plants trees. I was my skinniest when I worked for a small housekeeping company. I got picked up at 8am every morning to bus into vans that shuttled us to 15-20 homes per day. It was constant movement throughout the day and easy to stick to a meal schedule I have trouble with overeating choosing unhealthy options. I would definitely go back to that job just to get back in shape if it weren't for the boss's behaviour law. Warehouse, construction, lawn tech, IDK about a better body. As a lawn tech I did 10-15 miles a day in thick grass, and that's like walking through sun except on hills and shit. My resting heart rate was 79, and I started, and in ACP alias it was in the 50s. A lot of cardio and strong legs, but exhausting, but most the best built dudes I am construction, working with concrete and stuff like that. Any job that involves physical manual labour, I worked in warehouse loading dock environments, loading and unloading trucks and delivery vans for 15 years. Everything was hand-bombed, never used a forklift. I had colleagues that would boast about going to the gym, and I'd always be like why would I waste money for a gym membership when I can just go to work and get paid to exercise. I'm a commercial carpenter, and when we have to hang drywall it ends up being for weeks at a time. Some types of sheets can weigh up to 130 pounds, and you carry them by yourself. Depending on the day, we can hang upwards of 50, 60 sheets. Before that, I worked at a garden centre. Early spring. Delivery season. Unloading tractor trailer loads of trees kept me in great shape. World a job in England where I had to be walking up and downstairs several times per hour for 20 hours a week. It was six floors of stairs going up and down while carrying stuff. First week my legs and knees were dead. Afterwards I had crazy legs and after five months I could pistol squat more or less. It was hell especially since they don't believe in air conditioning. House Framer Did it for three years in my early twenties and it was the strongest I've ever been. Added to that, there's an insane confidence boost from facing height fears by carrying to buy twelves across to buy for walls and decking roofs. Also had a sick tan the whole time. Downside is most of the dudes over 40 I worked with had to pop pain pills like Tic Tacs. 
I was an outward bound instructor between 1971 and 1980 for rock climbing, mountaineering, kayaking, ropes course, etc. This account is not typical. Although the work was invariably pretty strenuous, I worked at Linens and Things in college now defunct Bed Bath and Beyond Competitor, and since I was the only guy working there who was over 5 feet 7, they had me doing most of the heavy stuff. A hours of carrying cookware sets up and down those portable stairs had me in the best physical shape I'd ever been in up to that point. I was in very good shape working retail. I loved delivery days and sorting the stock room out so I purposely wrote to myself in on them days. When I sorted my eating out, I dropped for stone without outside exercise. But organing stock rooms and putting stock out by hand no wheeled crates is a worker. Anything lifting hand moving. Physical therapist, physical therapist assistant. I'm a PTA trying to transition out of the field. You're on your feet all day and physically moving people, especially in inpatient. So manual therapy in outpatient can be exhausting too. The downside is, you can easily overwork your body and hurt yourself. Case in point me. I became a carpenter and lost 20 pounds in the first six months. T I'm in better shape so I believe most of the gain is muscle. Because my legs are in way better shape than they were when I used to run 5 kiloseconds. And my arms are fairly big from all the lifting and tool use.